Well, in Rochester, there are three pharmacies accepting applicants for the COVID-19 vaccine as part of the governor's new distribution plan. ABC 6 News reporter Rachel Mills joins us live in the studio tonight with an update on when those vaccines can be expected there. Rachel, everybody's waiting for this information. They are. Lauren Ross, the manager at Rochester Community Pharmacy, one of those three vaccine sites in Rochester, told me today that they don't have any vaccines yet. Shea Fossimo tells me that the Minnesota Department of Health told her this weekend that they would be one of the locations distributing vaccines. And then the next day, I just saw that we already live on their site. And then they, ha they have a phone number there and people started calling that number just because they saw it on their website. Fossimo only had one other employee on hand to tackle the governor's new program this week. We didn't know we were going to get this many people at once. So. Just between yesterday and today, we've had to deal with a thousand people. Fasimo did not know why their small pharmacy had been chosen to be a part of this program. Chris Ayersman with the Minnesota Department of Health says they were chosen because they're a small pharmacy. These are pharmacies that um, tend to have more relationships with their the the customers that they serve, and they're they're very much connected. Um, to the healthcare system. The pharmacy does not yet have any vaccines at their location. Fosimo says all she was told was that they would have them within a week. Vaccines were ordered on Monday, so it takes a couple days to get there. Um, so they should be getting it later this week. Once those vaccines arrive, the pharmacy can begin calling applicants for appointments in the order they applied. As Mayo plans on partnering with Olmstead County to assist these pharmacies, Fosimo says what they really need are the actual vaccines and more hands at both pharmacy locations, which currently have four employees total. We we'll need about five more for each location. Yeah, each location, so yeah, that's about 10. Fosimo says she is in the process of hiring more employees. And remember, the state has a limited supply of doses for this program. So if you aren't called this week, you'll have your chance once more vaccines become available. Lauren Ross.